You know what's one of our biggest problems right now in America? Let me, let me, let me tell you one of our biggest problems. We love to try and find racism. We're, we're looking for racism. We want to find racism. And you know what else we want to do? We want to find racists who are practicing racism. And then we want to out those racists practicing racism. Because what we're looking to do as a society is label who the racists are. And to that point, we're so wound tight right now as a society. I mean, seriously, we are so wound tight. You say one thing and you are a racist for life, ruin your career, ruin your profession, embarrass your family. We're looking for racists. We're looking for racists so much that the only black driver in NASCAR goes into his garage, <laughs> sees a rope that, you know, you use to close the garage door. He didn't, though. You, you, I'm telling the story. Work with me here. Humor me. <laughs> but you, okay? Okay. 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 Let's, let me rephrase it. There's a rope on the garage door that looks like a noose, but it's very customary to lift the garage door by rope and yank the garage door down by the rope. And we're so consumed with everything being about racism that when the rope is seen, here's what comes to mind. Oh my God, he's the only black man who drives in NASCAR. Is that rope? Is that, that's rope. Is that a noose? Oh my God, there's a noose in the only black guy's garage. And the next thing you know, we all, we, we all, we're all like, oh, damn, that is messed up, man. That is messed up. Who would ever in today's climate be so freaking insensitive? And by the way, make the whole sport look stupid. And then, oh, my God, everybody, everybody wants to show support and love. Let's, let's have a parade, man. This is awesome. This is great. NASCAR is leading the change. This is great. And then the FBI comes in and they go, yeah, it was uh, just, it was all a big misunderstanding. You'll have to excuse us. Just a big misunderstanding. It wasn't really a noose. It was just a rope. They pull out the garage. They take the garage door down. Not really a big deal. No hate crime here. No racism here. You know, nothing to see here. And then Bubba Wallace, who I didn't know who he was until earlier this week, goes on with Don Lemon on CNN. Now, I know who Don Lemon is. Even my 13-year-old daughter, when I've got CNN on, she goes, God, they're just all over the president. I go, oh, you here? You want to see what happens the other channel? I turn to Fox News. She goes, oh, okay. So they love every... I go, yeah, you get it. You're 13. On with Don Lemon on CNN. It was a noose. I was like, yeah, I mean, but it was like a rope and it was tied a certain way in a knot and it was in your garage and I guess it had been there and the FBI said it wasn't a hate crime. And Bubba was like, no, man. It's a freaking noose. I don't care what anybody says. It's a noose. And I'm kind of pissed that people are questioning my integrity when it comes to this noose. I'm like, no, not really questioning your integrity. Just that it wasn't, uh, according to the FBI now, it wasn't a noose. It wasn't a threat. It wasn't a, um, hey, we're going to get you. You know, you're the only black guy in our sport. We're going to get you. Hey, we're intimidating you. So this whole, my point to all of this rant is this. Let's all catch our breath for a second. Let's all pump the brakes since I'm talking NASCAR. This is a NASCAR conversation, isn't it? Let's pump the brakes. Not everything is racist. Sometimes you might want to just say, hmm, interesting that somebody tied a knot that way. I mean, we all jumped on the story. Racists. Bastards, wonderful people, NASCAR. Look at the change. Only to find out that's not the story the way it really was supposed to be. What do you got to say, Big Brown? I see you with that smile. Okay, let's, let's, you're correct in the sense that the FBI said it was not a hate crime. Mm -hmm. So the noose had been in there for over a year. They did say it was a noose. Okay, now, can I ask a question? I just have to sure. ask a question. Yes. Um, you ever gone fishing? Hell no. 
I'm from the south side of Chicago. Ain't no fish. Ain't no fish on the south side? Hell no, ain't no fish. You go to the store to get some fish. You ain't put no no ropes, no water to get no fish. I've gone fishing a lot when I was a kid. And there were lots of different techniques to, to tie knots. Lots of different techniques. One of them, I, I never called it a noose, but... It's what it was. I mean, it's you tie it around, you feed it through, you pull it up. There's, 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 you know, slack to it, and then it ties up. I mean, there's ways to tie knots. That isn't that what a noose. Is? I mean, maybe I don't know what a noose is. Maybe this is another dumb, naive, white privilege moment. Can I just for me. update the story since we're yeah. since we're in in the middle of this? He uh, he just put a statement up not that long ago saying it's been an emotional few days. First off, I want to say how relieved I am that the investigation revealed that hit, this wasn't what we feared it was. Mm -hmm. I want to thank my team, NASCAR and the FBI, for acting swiftly and treating this as a real threat. I think we'll gladly take a little embarrassment over what the alternatives could have been. Make no mistake, though, some will try. This should not detract from the show of unity we had on Monday and the progress we've made as a sport to be a more welcoming environment for all. God, whoever wrote that, that is really well written. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that's good. He got everything in and he and he was he, he admitted like that there's a little bit of embarrassment that it wasn't what we thought it was. And going on CNN saying it was. Right. But yet, you know what? It's better than what the alternative is, which is, you know, racist hate act. Um, I don't know who wrote that. You just read it brilliantly. But whoever wrote it should get a raise because that is really well written. That's when you're creating damage control. But you're but you're also saying at the same time, but don't take away from that beautiful moment that NASCAR had just the other day on Monday when everybody paraded Bubba Wallace out. Don't don't take away from that. And yeah, there's a little egg on my face. And yeah, I was insistent that it was a noose, but better than the alternative. I thought that was really well written. Drew Brees should hire that guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so should Mike Gundy. Yeah, <laughs> but again, yeah. it was a noose. Now, you say that there are a million ways to tie a knot. I've never been in the Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts teach you tons of ways to tie knots. You're absolutely correct. The reason why it's still offensive that there was a noose. Oh, Jesus, no. No, a knot is now offensive? Again, let me finish. <laughs> the reason why the noose, not a knot, the uh -huh. noose, uh -huh. I could have gone in there, tied a rope around there to pull it down, that it wouldn't have been a noose. The reason why it being a noose in his garage is an issue is because the noose is what was used to murder black men in this country. I know, but John, but John, I mean, I got to fight back a little bit on this. Go one. ahead. No, go ahead. I mean, really, it's like, okay, the, the, the rope, let's just call it the rope for but, a moment. Hold on. Let me, let me, but by calling it a rope, mm -hmm. you're taking away from the significance of it being a noose. If or... It, or you're adding too much significance to the way it's tied. Oh, no, absolutely, absolutely not. Because there's a historical context to having a noose when hanging black people in this I, country. I, at a okay, time but, in our fair enough. I, I accept that. I, I validate it. I accept it. I live with that understanding. But because the rope was there a year ago and it wasn't his personal garage, and somebody tied a knot in a way that made it theoretically more convenient for them to, to use this rope to pull a garage door up and down. It's not, it had, the, in theory, unless this person is like a KKK member who likes to just tie nooses in garages because he likes the symbolism of a noose, I could make the argument that somebody tied a knot. That knot was looked at and they went, oh my God, that, look at that, they tied it like a noose. And, and that's, that's the deal. I mean, why I don't, I, if it was his garage and he was targeted and it was a hate crime, that's one thing. If the rope was there and somebody chose to tie it in a certain way around the garage door, that's a completely separate story. Is it not? In my opinion, a noose to a black man has a certain symbol to it, much like the Confederate flag has a certain symbol to black people. Certain statues in this country have certain symbolism to black people. So different things mean different things to certain people. And right, so but, but, but let me let me pose this to you. You ready? Mm -hmm. If the guy is in the garage and um, from a year ago or his guys. No, if, if the guy from a year ago posts a, uh, a swastika in the garage. Right. Mm -hmm. And I come into the garage. 
Mm-hmm. I look at it and I go, oh my God, look at these anti-Semitic motherfuckers. They got swastikas in the garage. I know what a swastika means. Okay. Exactly. Yes. When I walk into a garage, white guy here. Okay. Remember I grew up in a garage. My father owned gas stations. And I know this, that, that these garage doors, it's very customary to have a rope to pull these garage doors down. White privilege guy here making another admission. When I walk into a garage and I see a rope on a garage door, I think of that as a way of opening and closing a garage door. And the knot, however you've chosen to tie it, is how you've chosen to tie it. I could have very easily have tied this knot. I swear to you, dude. I could have very easily have tied this knot and been like, yeah, this is probably the most effective way to tie this knot. You were on to a good point and you you didn't finish it. Let me help you. Go ahead. You go into a garage, there's a swastika on the wall. Mm -hmm. Now, that swastika wasn't put there the day before you and your team put it in there. That swastika has been up there for a year. Yeah, and I know what it means. Right. So when you go in there, are you offended by that swastika? Of course. Of course I'm offended. Yes, yes. And so that's all I'm saying. Right, but it's just a piece of rope that was used to open and close the doors, what I'm trying to get at. (laughs) A swastika is just a painting. No, 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 no. A swastika (laughs) is a... a, No, no. A swastika is a symbol of hatred. A rope is a is a thing that you might use to open and close a door. A rope fashioned as a noose, as in this particular case, to a black man, is seen as offensive. I understand. I hear you. I completely understand what you're saying. All I'm trying to say is that I think what a noose is, maybe we should look it up. I think what the definition of a noose is, is a, is a way of tying a rope. Yes, I agree. Now, yes, that's correct. Okay. And so therefore, it's a knot. And so there's double knots, there's triple knots, there's, I mean, to me, somebody may have said, this is the most effective way to pull the garage door down. And I understand what it means symbolically to yourself or Mm -hmm. to Bubba Wallace, but I'm saying it wasn't put there or tied that way to be a hate crime. And what I'm saying is, if it was a triple knot or a double knot, I don't think he would have had a problem. What if somebody would have looked at that triple knot or double knot and gone, what the hell is that? That looks like a freaking noose. I mean, well, according to his statement, I don't think he has a problem with it anymore. I mean, it's what it sounded like. It's like, okay, it was a, it was a misunderstanding. It was a knot. And I get what you're saying, Browner, about the noose. And obviously, you know, you, it's not a surprise to anybody what you're saying, but like, if he's saying it was a moment, it was a it was a misunderstanding. It was a moment of embarrassment for us that we reacted that like that. So what are, what is what is the story here? What I'm my story is this, and I'll, I'll give Browner the final word on this. My story is this: we in America are wrapped more tightly than ever before with regards to race relations, at least in my lifetime, and um, and when we see things, we immediately jump to conclusions. And my suggestion for everybody is let's, this has been my suggestion the whole way through. Let's talk about this stuff. But before let's Browner get- gets the final word real quick, like yeah. you guys, I don't know who said it yesterday, but I think both of you said, well, it's the garage of a NASCAR garage. It's yeah. worth we- millions of dollars of, of things in there. There's got to be video in there. So where's the video? You guys want to see a video of a guy from a year ago that's placing this? I would love it because if the guy's wearing a white hood, I'd be like, oh, man, shit. That's some racist shit right there, that noose. And if it's just a random dude who's tying a knot because he's putting the door up and down, I'd be like, see, it really wasn't a big deal. I think to I think to squash this entire fiasco, show the knot. Because <laughs> if it's yeah. just a knot, then great. Yeah. If, we'll it's a, it. if it's a noose. That's bad. And I agree with you. We are wound tight in this country racially at this point. And I'm absolutely proud of and I'm happy that we're wound tight because we spend way too much time being too loose about racism in this country. And it's time that we start calling people out for being racist. 